Well, tomorrow marks one week since those tornadoes tore through, but it's going to take more time than that to assess exactly how things unfolded that day. WHO 13's Roger Riley joins us live from Winterset now, where an Iowa congresswoman has some questions of her own. Uh, yeah, that's right, Dan. Now, Cindy Axney has been in Washington, D.C., and she flew in last night from Washington. She wanted to get a grasp on this disaster in her district. Just, just devastating. Obviously, in Iowa, we're very used to hiding somewhere from a tornado, but to see the destruction that this tornado has created, to see families that were literally just ripped out of their homes and um, the homes just thrown back down. Um, just I can't imagine. I can't imagine how frightened that they were. And Axney visited a home which took a direct hit on the top of a ridge near Carver Road. She also stopped at Newbridge Church, which is the site of the victim's shelter. Now today there were dozens of volunteers picking up some of the thousands of scraps left behind by the tornado. Axney said she's doing what she can to help victims of the tornado. Absolutely working on that right now. Um, obviously working with uh, and, the, and the churches and the folks here are working to get people into the system so that we can work with FEMA to take care of this. Uh, I'm also working to see uh, why we had a delay from the National Weather Service, um, uh, not here, not from our local folks, but from the National Weather Service in, in, in a delay in getting this uh, uh, notification. So minutes count in this. And so we're working on a couple events to take care of, of whatever we can help out with. Now, coming up at 5 o'clock, uh, we will talk to some of the volunteers who are out here. Uh, Dio Ayala, the county emergency manager, said that volunteers will work tomorrow, Saturday, but they will take Sunday off, and there will be uh, plenty to pick up next week. There's lots more to do. So mm -hmm. anybody thinking about wanting to come out and volunteer, it's not too late. There's going to be plenty to do, especially next week, Dan. Yeah, thank you so much, Roger, for mentioning that, because yep. we want to get the information up on the screen. For Madison County specifically, uh, if you want to volunteer, call this number 225-377-0036. They will uh, get you pointed in the right direction. And if you need help, that's the bottom number to call, 641-316-0877. And the person who answers will get you collected, connected rather with storm, storm resources to help victims recover. Uh, of course, this was a widespread event, and there are resources in Polk County as well. This hotline was just established yesterday, 515-323-5221. You can call that if you need help or if you want to volunteer. That's open until 5 o'clock this evening. So, you know, just within the, the rest of this hour, it's going to be open again Monday starting at 8 a.m.